Good morning, beautiful friends. What's up? And welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. Let's do a what I eat in a day. Plus, you might get a little bit of spend the day with me. I don't have to go into work until later this afternoon, so I do have a couple errands I'd like to run. One of them is to the Goodwill, so if you like Goodwill thrift hunting, stay tuned. I'll put that in at the end of the video if I find anything good. But first off, Thank you for being here. I got a quick workout in this morning. I'll share with you what I had during my workout because yes, I did eat while I was running and I'm so ready for breakfast. Yesterday I did 10 miles. Today was just a quick two to recover. Plus I did an upper body workout. And then this past week I actually got in a total of 47 miles. So that's the biggest mileage week that I've had in a really long time. We'll get more into that later. Let's go enjoy breakfast. Hey, 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 I know, so cliche to have lemon water in the morning, but it is so hydrating, and when it's hot, or really anything, I love fruit and water. So I'm going to make this cherry compote slash cherry jam so good. I've done this with frozen strawberries, fresh strawberries, frozen blueberries, fresh blueberries, mixed fruit, two tablespoons of chia seeds, a bag of frozen cherries, and then just about a cup of water. Let that kind of simmer for about 15 minutes. Then I made myself about a cup and a half of oats, cup and a half dry, which blows up to like two-ish cups. So it's a lot of volume, which is perfect after a run for me. And then I put that hot cherry compote jam on the top. And then I actually eat this cold. So I'll mix it all up, put it in my refrigerator for about an hour. Oh my gosh, so good. And then I had extra of the cherries left over for later in the week. This would be so good as overnight oats to kind of layer cherries or fruit and then oats. Highly recommend. I'll type the recipe out, leave it in the description box for you. Some current Trader Joe's favorites. So this ABC bar I actually saw on Kim at the Wads channel. She's literally the only YouTuber I watch anymore. I love watching her stuff in the morning when I'm getting ready or um, when I'm running, if I'm running early in the morning on my treadmill. So good. It's an almond butter cocoa bar. So, I mean, amazing. And then these is a coconut date bar. So it's kind of like their take on a Lara bar. So I had both of these when I was running this morning, just as a really quick snack. I'm really trying to get food in my tummy when I'm running, which is kind of new to me, but I'm trying to consume a certain amount for every 60 minutes. And even though it was just a two mile recovery run, so literally I was not on the treadmill that much, I had one before and then one during, just like I said, to get some food in my tummy and get used to having food in there for longer runs. These are both good. If you have Trader Joe's near you, you need to find them. Uh, this one doesn't have anything non-vegan in it, but it is gluten-free, FYI, and I would say it's vegan. And then this one is specifically marked gluten-free and vegan. So both are delicious. You need to try both of them. gonna hit up the last minute laundry that I did not finish yesterday and talk to you really quickly about Goodwill. Okay, so I did go to Goodwill and I was going to film, but there probably was like 400 people in the store because I didn't know it was 99 cent day. So I did find some really amazing things. Green stickers were 99 cents, but I did not have the time to wait an hour plus in line to check out. So sorry, such a bummer. I'll go back again soon. Laundry check. Goodwill was a fail. <laughs> now let's go eat some lunch. Okay, we are going 
going to make a mock chicken salad, chickpea salad, if you will. My favorite thing in the entire world, I swear. I make it all the time. Also, I picked these up at Smith's earlier. I had to run there and get toilet paper. Ugh, literally hate buying toilet paper. Adulting 101. They are 100% egg-free, gluten-free. At first I was like, ugh, they're kind of expensive. They're $5 for four rolls. But then I was like, that's $1.25 a roll. That's really not that bad. I think we just compare the price of this to like regular bread. So I went ahead and got this and I had it in the refrigerator to chill. You're probably not supposed to do that, but I'm gonna toast it. And then we're just gonna throw together a really quick, like I said, chickpea salad with some dill mustard. If you don't have this, you can omit it and just use yellow mustard. It does have garlic and onion powder in it, I believe. Dill weed and turmeric an apple to kind of zazz it up. I'm gonna use some pickle juice and some pickles because I can never have enough pickles, fresh cucumber, because I feel like it balances everything out. And then we're gonna do lettuce and we're just gonna make a couple sandwiches. I want to know, how is your summer going? I posted a community post, I think about 10 days ago. It may even be a little bit longer than that. Um, it's actually the day I was filming this video, but if you saw Thursday's video, which was like a get it all done, I got a quick grocery haul. I made a bunch of meals. I made that video after this one. So this this video was made like a week before that one, but I put it up first. Anyways, I wanna know how your summer is going. So 4th of July just passed. It was last weekend. It was my husband and I's 12th wedding anniversary last Sunday, so July 3rd. We went and saw Ka. It was amazing. We are huge Cirque du Soleil fans. Like huge, huge, huge. I love them. I wanna see them all, all over the world. I know a lot of people are like, uh, I don't get it, but can you not just appreciate all the hard work that all those performers put in every single day, eight to 10 hours a day? A lot of them are gymnasts who were gymnasts like their entire life and, you know, didn't make a team like a, a Olympic team. So they, you know, decided they wanted to do this as like a career. And I just think that's so amazing. I know a few of the performers I was blessed enough to meet some of them when I would go to one of the gyms here in town. And it's amazing what, like, just that career field in general. But I love performing arts. I 100% support it. And we had so much fun. I've been to now, I think, three. Yes, three. I've been to Mystere, which is over at Treasure Island. I've been to the O, which we went to for my birthday last year at the Bellagio and then Ka, which is at MGM. So let me know down below. Have you guys been to one of the shows here in Vegas? Which ones have you been to? And a lot of people come to see magicians and com comedy people. I'm not really into either of those things. I want to see something that's just like beautiful and breathtaking. Okay, so pickle juice. I've been posting a lot over on Instagram. Do you follow me over there? If you don't, you should. That's where you're going to see a lot more like funny real life the side of me that's like not so serious, not all about food, kind of lighten up. So definitely follow me over on Instagram. But pickle juice has been a lifesaver for me and running over the last few years, but especially in the heat. <laughs> this, this, this actually big jar of pickles I got less than a week ago. I have not done a large grocery haul since probably the last time I posted one. I've literally just been going to the store probably every three to four days, picking up a few things and then that's it. And then I, I will say like I've done a couple budget grocery hauls, but nothing like stock up, you know, buy $200 worth of groceries for a couple of weeks, nothing like that. And if you're curious as to why I'm toasting on one side of the toaster, because I know someone's going to ask, you have a four-sided toaster, why are you toasting one side at a time? Because one side is for my husband and one side is for me, so I can keep one side gluten-free. It's probably, you know, I don't have celiacs or Hashimoto's or anything, but I do know that if you do have issues with gluten and you continue to eat gluten or have things cross-contaminated, a lot of times it can trigger an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. I read it on the internet. It has to be somewhat true. <laughs> Anyways, this is a fabulous go-to make-ahead lunch for the summer because it is so delicious. And because of all the vegetables with it, like you have cucumbers and pickles and apples and lettuce, it feels hydrating. It feels like health so delicious and so inexpensive. You know I'm always sharing super budget friendly meals. You could go ahead and make my two ingredient gluten-free bread if you wanted to, which is also really inexpensive. I will link that video up above and down below so you can check it out. If you ever can't find the videos that are linked in the video ahead, you just have to click that down arrow on the right side and it'll pop up all the videos that I'm talking about here in, within you know the videos. 
but super inexpensive, way cheaper than running through like the drive through because look at all this food that I have now and it's super delicious. On to doing a few quick dishes and cleaning and tidying my kitchen really quickly. I posted over on Instagram the other day a quick kitchen clean with me and I got so many direct messages about that specific reel. I don't think I've ever got so many DMs like on one specific piece of content before, but so many of you were like, I love this. Thank you so much. One of the things that I try to really promote and share here on my channel is positivity and even though like technically cleaning is not fun, I really enjoy it. There's nothing more satisfying to me than making a big mess and cleaning it up. And if you can create a fun, positive experience about it, it can kind of make it feel like less of a task. So I really try to share that here on my channel that yes, I have real messes, I have things to clean up. And this pickle jar I'm recycling, I fill it with cold water and Dawn dish soap, by the way, that little squeezed Dawn dish soap is amazing. And then I just let it soak overnight and then I'll put it in the dishwasher and I'll scrub the label off obviously before that, but clean kitchen, cheers. Okay, so I went to the running store, <laughs> got some electrolytes because I have ran out and I need, I need them, I need them. Pickle juice just didn't cut it for today and I didn't probably because I didn't have enough. So got some electrolytes, looked at some really cool shoes. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna buy them yet. My birthday's coming up. And besides I just get a new pair of trail shoes so i don't really need a new indoor shoe yet i rotate mine but i love our running store it's really close to us and i just love buzzing down there real quick it's kind of fun so i'm going to go do some work in my office i have got to get the menus up for july if you guys aren't subscribed to my monthly subscription service check out the link down below it's just 99 cents a month you can buy six months at a time and save yourself a little bit of money but if you really like my recipes and just kind of want more general recipes than just in the videos check that out you're going to love it so many of you have given me wonderful feedback but july's recipes are well <laughs> before this video goes up july's recipes will be ready and the cool thing is is no matter when you sign up you have access to everything that has been posted content recipe wise um so if you sign up now you have three months may june and july's that you can access and you can cancel any time and you never lose that content so check it out it's linked down below and like i said it's only 99 cents a month so i'm gonna go work on that and then i'll see you probably around dinner time We're gonna get dinner started because I'm going to do a quick marinade. I know, who am I? So for the marinade, I'm just using a couple of things. You can add some maple syrup, a little bit of brown sugar, which I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar, I think, or agave, whatever I can find. Uh, cocoa aminos, a little salt, which I probably won't use because I think this has salt in it. Everything, seasoning, mustard, and I'm going to chop some potatoes Zucchini, I'm solo for dinner tonight, so just making enough for myself. In a quick marinade, pop it in the fridge, let it chill until I get home from work, and then I'll put it in the air fryer. I have perfected this marinade, and I am adding it to a recipe in this month's subscription. So make sure you check out Flourishing Miranda monthly down below. Like I said, it's just 99 cents per month. You get 10 new recipes each month. They drop on the fifth of each month and you can make all of them. You have so many to make up for if you did not catch May or June's because now you have 30 recipes. And like I said, you get the content for the back months and you can cancel any time, you never lose it. It's just a really great way for me to be able to create things each month because so many of you loved my eBooks. By the way, I am putting my eBooks down below as well on sale and they're only gonna be on sale for the next 10 days. I do this every so often and thank you so 
so much to everyone who does purchase them because I take that money that I raise for my cookbooks and I donate it to my local food bank. And just thank you so much to everyone who has supported me over the last few years to, you know, help feed those in my community. So I forgot to get the final photo of this after I put it in my air fryer. So I went ahead and put the zucchini and the potatoes in a large bowl with this marinade. I will type out in the description box below what I did for this, but it was about three quarters of a cup of cocoa aminos. You can use soy sauce too. I don't use soy sauce because it's not gluten-free. About two tablespoons of brown sugar, a little bit of brown mustard, and then the anti no nos everything seasoning. You could do salt, garlic, onion powder. You could do any seasoning you want. But like I said, I have perfected and changed and made some zippity doo -dah wonderful add-ons to this marinade and added it to a recipe this month in my monthly subscription menu. So check it out over there. But I went ahead and tossed them just with my hand. I have a tongs there, but like I'll use it when I put them in the air fryer. But I forgot to get a final photo, but oh my gosh, so delicious. It would be also really good if you had like a vegan ranch on the side to dip it in. It's like the perfect 50-50 meal if you are looking for one. Put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours or overnight. You won't be disappointed. It's so good. Thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Got some meal inspo, some new recipes to try. If anything else, you were a little bit entertained just kind of watching me go throughout my day. Have an awesome day and I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye!